Hello, and welcome to Refuse. This is not the book I wanted to uh, review. I was actually going to do X-Force or Fantastic Four, but I got a message the other day from my buddy, and he says, Hey, are you still doing those videos? I said, uh, yeah, pretty sure you've subscribed to my channel. Uh, you're not even watching them? So, resolution for 2019, get new friends. <laughs> but anyway, um, he asked me if I had been uh, following Harley Quinn. And I said, no, I've been reading Old Lady Harley. I got the first issue. I got the second issue. I haven't read that one yet. I got a little bit of a backup going right now. And he asked, are you reading the main series? And I said, no, I started to. I read like the first 20-some issues maybe, and I gave up after that. And uh, I said, you know, I prefer the classic Harley than, than this look. And he said, uh, oh, you've got to get the latest issue. So when I was at my comic shop the other day, they actually didn't have it. And I was like, uh, maybe uh, next time I'm at the uh, my backup comic shop, the one that tends to order just about everything. But then I remembered, <gasps> Comixology. I can always check it out on Comixology. And, uh, oh, yeah, I kind of wish I had it. Oh, oh, my God. See... Apparently, this is a guest issue, and this is everything that's currently wrong with the industry. Um, I think I made the comparison in a previous video. You know, imagine if Ford Motor Company, um, if Ford Motors, um, if they had a recall or something. Um, you know, even better yet, let's use GM. Remember how GM uh, a couple years ago had the brake issue uh, where uh, people's brakes were going out and had a massive recall and the new um, CEO had to go before Congress to testify? Well, imagine if when people are talking about, hey, what's going on with these cars? Uh, why, <laughs> why are they uh, you know, having all these brake failures? Imagine if GM then started putting out commercials insulting the people who were complaining about the product. Now, granted, I understand no one has died from bad comics yet. But, <laughs> um, but imagine a company that just insults the readers like that and you know you never see i shouldn't say you never see but for the most part you don't see other businesses that try to segregate their readers by political viewpoints you don't see um dole you know uh, pineapples having you know um you know uh, orange man bad eat pineapple you know eat pineapple man or something um why is it the entertainment industry does that? You know, um, <laughs> my bird's going nuts down there because I'm not paying attention to them. Um, you do, you see, like, the gaming industry has been doing this. Um, you've been seeing, you know, the comics. It's happening even Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's happening in sci-fi stuff. You know, a lot of us don't care about the politics. We just want good stories. Yeah, and then they start doing all the, oh, well, you must be an incel, or you must be this. And I'm going to have to skip a few pages on this. I'm going to try and make this quick. Um, but the last page, I mean, oh, the last page. <laughs> anyway, so we get this issue. It's um, It has a guest writer, uh, something Russell, I forgot what his name was already. Um, and yeah, so we have this Harley Quinn cat thing going here. Um, and... Uh, I guess we have the variant cover, which is uh, a Frank Cho, and I, I love Frank Cho. And, you know, the Harley Quinn I like is uh, this outfit. You know, this is actually, um, uh, I have a, my phone wallpaper is the Harley Quinn in her classic outfit. He is going nuts. Can, if you hear a high-pitched whistle, I apologize. He's trying to get my attention. And uh, But, yeah, I'm actually surprised, given this issue, um, it's so weird the juxtaposition that we have, that we do this tale with a character who is barely dressed, or with the alternate cover where we have her uh, badonka donk there. So, and yet, even though it looks, Frank Cho draws all the women like Brandy from uh, Liberty Meadows, but that's okay. I mean, I like his style. So, anyway, we have uh, Harley reacting to. Uh, uh, allergies and talks about living in on Coney Island. There's always a hot dog place nearby. 
what is it with SJWs and weird food combinations? Um, remember burger cakes or whatever that was in the in the She-Hulk series that Mariko Tamaki did, which was half cake, half burger or something, or half pancake, half burgers? What is the obsession with not only food, but weird food? This is a Pepto-Bismol hot dog. Yeah, to sell on her stomach, and yeah, she even admits it's gross. You know, um, that's a funny thing. She-Hulk did the same thing, so, you know, haha, we got food, and we're going to try and be funny with food, and yeah. So, she's trying to figure out what's uh, saying off her allergies, and we get this. Um, he's got a, a funny name. Uh, forgive me, it's really hard for me to read these. Um, Feral Cats. Yeah, Feral Cats is his name. He was a cat burglar. He's even got his cat on his head. <laughs> what the hell? The cat looks stoned. He's got another cat painting back here. Um, this one's safe cracking. So yeah, haha, kind of silly. These are highly trained cats. Name of the, uh, oh yeah, here's a guest writer. Uh, Mark Russell. Pettergate. Yeah, you can already see where we're going with this. Can't you? So she's talking about, you know, you can't have all these cats in a one-bedroom apartment. He's hoarding cats, but it turns out he was a cat burglar. These are all highly trained cats. Um, he walked into a boxing match with a cat coat and then unleashed the cats to start stealing, you know, watches and wallets and everything. So, uh, he's like, I'll tell you, she hardly says, I'll tell you what, Mr. Cats, um, you can keep one, and I'll personally find good homes for the rest of them. Promise. And he's like, very well, the time, is, uh, time has come to go into the world, my children. So we get the setup. Harley has to give out all these cats. Now, she says she's going to find good homes. So instead, she's just going to hand them out to people. So yeah, we have uh, a crew here. You know, um, she gives him a cat, you know, a pet that won't eat eggs, except cats will eat eggs. Trust me on this one. Um, she goes to the hot dog vendor and, uh, you know, uh, says, you know, you've got to be crawling with rats. Uh, I'm not crawling with rats. Well, not plural anyway. All right, give me a calico. And that is a tabby. That is not a calico. So I'm a cat owner. Of course I'm going to notice these things. And, of course, the calico is already stolen Harley's wallet because these are well-trained cats. You know, cats actually can be trained. Oh, and speaking of cats, Butters has just decided to join the party. Hey, boo. Um, yeah, cats can be trained. And so the idea of a cat burglar using cats is not really a bad idea. You know, if you want to go for the humorous thing. And this is a problem I had with you know, a lot of other books, again, I go back to Tamaki's, um, you have a concept, a really interesting concept, and we're just going to mention it in passing. We're going to go do something else. It's like, no, I want to know about the adventures of the cat thief with the highly trained cats. That sounds interesting. That sounds funny. Um, but no, we're going to get into the various hijinks. And, okay, so, fine, um... Oh, 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 don't stand. No, don't stand on that. That's not like, uh, so apparently my cat has just zoomed way the heck in. Whoa, that got weird. Um, don't ever put an application, uh, on your tablet that's a game for cats. I made that mistake, and now she thinks that the tablet is just her toy, so. Oh, God, how do I get it? There we go. I hate comiXology. Um, so, Yeah. Um, okay, you need to back off. Oh, she's going to fight. She is going to fight. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, get, get, get your stinking paw off the... And so here is a book about cats that is going to have me wrestling a cat. I don't set this up. I apologize. So, so yeah, she, uh, Harley is still reacting. Um, you know, she's got to sign up free cats. Yeah, free all the cats. And, uh, so... She tries to figure out where her wallet is. She goes back to the uh, to Nate's hot dog uh, pony stand, um, and he's being attacked by masked men. And here is where it gets bad. So, you know, we get the bad puns. Actually, I'm here for the cats up, and 
You know, only a loser shakes down a hot dog stand. And history is written by the wieners. <sighs> okay, fine, haha, ha, you're funny. Um, yeah, you're not funny. Uh, these SJWs are not not funny. And even the even Nate's saying, you can stop with the hot dog puns now. Uh, what's this all about, anyway? Rival pet dealers. Apparently, they don't like people uh, uh, getting their cats from women. Yeah. See, we have the pet store. Menopause, huh? Menopause. Pets by men for men. Uh, excuse me, do you have any chinchillas? Chinchillas are for wussies. Here's a snake. Really? Ah. <sighs> So, um, you know, he's got allies all over town. The male chauvinist pigs. As mentioned in Pet House Forum, is that still a thing? I mean, with the, the, the internet, is that still... And uh, we got Mike's rent an animal. Llamas by the hour. Oh, you see, in case you missed it, we're going to make each letter a different... MRA. Oh, Okay, oh, you see, they're clever. You see how clever that is? I never would have gotten that. <laughs> uh, I, you, you know, my cats, you know, if I just did another five minutes of me just petting butters, it would be more entertaining for you to see than this book. I swear to God. Um, so, yeah, she's, uh, what's interesting about this, what I find really interesting is it's slapping down men, obviously. It's, you know, anti-MRA. But Harley, with her short, short outfit that she wears and the boussier and the thigh-high boots, she looks like an old cigarette girl. You know, something that is, if a woman were to dress like that these days, you know, sell cigarettes or whatever they would do at a, um, like at a boxing match, people would flip their lids. So it's a weird juxtaposition here. Uh, big dogs for real men. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to name her Fiona. That's what I would have named my daughter if I'd had any children. And, uh, yeah, weird. Um, okay, I'm going to push Butters out of the way here. So, yeah, uh, Harley's making all kinds of rhymy puns throughout it. Uh, we got Russians, we got Siamese. You got to get a load of these. And then the Goon Squad shows up. <laughs> um, you're in Ferret Town, honey. If people, you know what? Come on, boo. Come on. Um, so, uh, look, I got a few cats to hand out. If people don't want them, they got like a million other pets to choose from. Okay, see? Yeah. You, you see, it's a comic book thing. You know, we've got a million things. Just buy something else. Just buy something else. And, uh, look, we tried to be nice about this, but the simple truth is we don't want you around here. Now beat it, Punky Brewster. Okay, I... Don't ever insult my Soleil Moon Fry, okay? Okay, I guess they're going by the pigtails. That's, you know, um, it's interesting that they would go with Punky Brewster because people my age would know who Punky Brewster is. Um, you know, uh, the younger people probably have no idea. I mean, you just heard me bat off the name of the actress who played her off the top of my head. So, yeah, um... I'm going to have to stop here soon because I want to make sure I get the last page. You know, Randy, Randy Thompson, is that you? You know, he ended up getting a tattoo, you know, because he had problems in school. And uh, Jimmy, um, uh, Jimmy Pavlovsky. First I read this, I thought that was Jimmy Paviotti or whatever. You know, he and Amanda Connor who worked on the book. Um, are you sure you should be here? Uh, we thought you'd be lying low after that whole BB gun incident. You got me right in the ear, Jimmy. Please don't tell. Please don't tell. And how did you, I kind of did my research, how does she do research on this, on these people randomly beforehand? Um, you know, it's not like she got a real good look at them. Um, and uh, so, where are you all going? I thought you wanted to play rough. Please don't tell, please don't tell. Yeah, you see, they're trying to say that the anonymity, oh, Butters actually turned the page back. Um, great. <laughs> my cat is turning the pages. Fantastic. Um they're uh, going with the whole anonymity, but once they get outed, um, once they get doxxed, they uh, don't have uh, any power anymore. They're just frightened little kids. Um, yeah, so it's okay to dox your uh, critics. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with that. That's great. Um, so we have the uh, 
the 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 crowd come up because this is a whole big thing. Um, you know, it's about ethics in the pet industry. And of course, that's a slam against uh, GamerGate, which started out as you know about the whole collusion between journalists and the game companies. Yes, it was about ethics. And, you know, it's kind of funny. We see the same thing with um, the, uh, you know, the major comic journalist sites. They all want to work for, the, the, they all want to work in the comics company, so they give glowing reviews on everything. You know, it's, there are similar, similar parallels you can draw. I'm only going to do one more page because it's really important to do the last page. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, the people coming up. It's about preserving tradition. Um, you know, everyone to the wax museum, we can't hold them long. You know, a woman busts in. I don't need feminism. I was perfectly happy when men were in charge of the pets. Why are you so angry? What? Huh? You know, the funny thing about feminism is it's about choice, which would include the choice to not be a feminist. Um, the, uh, where, why? Why? <laughs> why are we doing... <sighs> So, you know, let's look at Butters, because I'm going to skip ahead to the end, because you really need to see the last page. So you can look at Chubber Butt here. So let me kind of move her off to the side. So Catwoman shows up and helps, and, you know, the, we have a cat that somehow has a prehensile tail, which cats, the domestic house, house cats, do not have, um, you know, no matter how much training you give them, who's <laughs> using a remote control, um, you know, like drone to drop other cats on. So, um, you know, Harley, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Thanks for picking up the phone. Oh, by the way, you may notice Harley's covered with blood. She cut off some guy's hand. Yeah. Yeah, she did. So, um, it's strangely gratifying when someone takes the time to hate your work. You know, a little wink going on there. Huh? Huh? See? Uh, you know, there was a time when you actually did books, when you actually did work, not to try to elicit hate, to try and make a good story. So, I like to cause ruckus as much as anyone, but what I don't understand is, why is it for such boring old, look at the emphasis, ideas? I mean, if you're going to be evil, at least make it interesting. Evil, they're not evil. Evil at least has the capacity to change. No, they're worse than evil. They're nostalgic. Yep, there it is, guys. There it is. Um... This comic, yeah, it says you're worse than evil. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, um, this is why Comic Skate exists. This this pisses me off. This you do. Who insults their audience? Who insults the people they're selling books to? And you know, I you know I I think I've said I don't like. You know, I said in this video I don't like this version of Harley Quinn. Yeah, I'm nostalgic. I like the traditional. I like the full bodysuit. I. You know, if you want to go with male gaze, I find that sexier than this, you know, uh, Twitch streaming outfit. Um, you know, it's, it's more covered up. That's, I thought it had a little bit more class, but, you know, I'm nostalgic. You know, I'm worse than evil. But if you notice, I'm just like, yeah, I like the other one better. I'm not hating on this. What we do hate on is the fact that when we don't, like the way the industry is going, we get slammed. We're the we're the biggest. We're worse than evil. And you know what the funny thing is, SJWs cannot do subtlety. I've said it before. I'll say it again. They are not subtle. If they made let, let's say SJWs wrote Animal Farm, it would be um, about the uh, dangers of flamunism um, and about. Uh, 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 drawling and the use of the drolitariat and the role of um, slopaganda. Oh, actually, slopaganda for Animal Farm. That's actually really good. I gotta write that down. Uh, but the point is, you can do satire um, and you can make it as an allegory for something. This just paints right on, and I guess I gotta turn some pages here. Let me <laughs> go back here. Um, yeah, the, you have the whole MRA thing. Yeah. Um, you know, the people in comics case generally are not MRAs. That's a whole different thing. Um, you know, I've said before, I'm not an MRA. I'm not MGTOW. Um, 
you know, some of the things they say, yeah, I can understand, but I don't, I'm, I'm not one of those people. Um, you know what, Butters, go ahead. Just go ahead and lay on it. I don't even care at this point. Um, but lumping in the, the people, this is obviously anti comic skate, and you're lumping in everyone um, as this, I, I can't even say evil, as this worse than evil, this nostalgia. You know, it's not boring new ideas. You could take a whole bunch of, you know, things and, and give them a modern twist. You know, there are no new ideas anymore. Like I said, this whole cat thief guy, uh, Feral Cats. Yeah, it's a cheesy name. I kind of like it, though. You, you could do... I would. I want to see his story. Yeah, that's that's not a calico. That's a tabby. Um, I want to know his story. You know, just like this, you know, going to a fight and having the cats go out. You know, that's some Red B-level stuff here. That, you know, that's... It's it's fun. It's comics. No, we got to slam you down, and we got to prove a point. And, oh, dear God, this pissed me off. What other industry, you know, and I'm not even talking about on social media, you know, where the creators get on and, you know, and, you know, hate on people. And no, I mean, flat out in your book, you're making accusations and you're insulting people and you're calling them worse than evil. This, this is garbage. <laughs> I didn't mean to zoom in, but yeah, that's, that's a good face. <laughs> it's just... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Today's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Stay safe tonight. Uh, don't uh, drink too much. I've lost a friend uh, to drunk driving, so please, please don't drink and drive. And, uh, you know, hopefully 2019 we'll get some better comics. That's all I want. That's my New Year's resolution is to not do this to myself, to not read this crap. Oh, and to find new friends that actually subscribe and watch to my channel. But I, I've already mentioned that. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Here's Butter sniffing. You want to see? Hi, boo. All right. Uh, from me and Jumperbutt, have a good New Year, and I will see you next time.